Welcome to GTEL. Now let us see about magnetic Lorentz force. What is magnetic Lorentz force? Lorentz force F on a charged particle of charge Q in motion. Here it is instantaneous velocity V. The E field and B field vary in space and time. The force F acting on a particle of electric charge Q with instantaneous velocity V due to an external electric field E and magnetic field B. You could see the picture right side representing the magnetic Lorentz force. Let us consider a uniform magnetic field of induction B acting along the Z axis. A particle of charge plus Q moves with a velocity V in YZ plane making an angle theta with the direction of the field. You could see in the picture in the left side denoting the graphical structure. The force F on the charge is zero. If the charge is at rest, that is the moving charge alone are affected by the magnetic field. Motion of a charged particle in a uniform magnetic field. Uniform magnetic field of induction B acting along the Z axis has been taken over here. A particle of charge Q and mass M moves in XY plane. At a point P, the velocity of the particle is V. So you can see the picture over here. The positive charge is in the mid part. Force is dependent on the angle. So it get moved from its position to the theta point when it gets zero. What is cyclotron? An apparatus in which charged atomic and subatomic particles are accelerated by an alternating electric field while following an outward spiral or circular path in a magnetic field. So the principle behind the cyclotron is that a charged particle moving normal to a magnetic field experiences magnetic Lorentz force due to which the particle moves in circular path. You could see the picture in the left representing the cyclotron. So the principle behind this is magnetic Lorentz force so that the particle inside that moves in a circular path. When a positive ion of charge Q and mass M is emitted from the source, it is accelerated towards the D having a negative potential at the instant of time. You could see the picture in the left side. So the ion is positive of charge Q. So it's mass is getting emitted from the source and it is accelerating so it is having the negative potential at the instant of time now let us see about the current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field let us consider a conductor pq of length l and area of cross section a so this cross section area is taken to be A and the, the conductor PQ is having the length of L. So the conductor is placed in a uniform magnetic field of induction B and that makes an angle theta with the field. So a force is a vector quantity. So first of all we are going to analyze about the magnitude of the force. So here it is of a vector quantity. As learned in an earlier unit, a vector quantity is a quantity that has both magnitude and direction. To fully describe the force acting upon an object, you must describe both the magnitude, that is size or numerical value and as well as the direction. Now let us look into the direction of force. So the direction of force on a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field is given by the Fleming left hand rule. So 
so the rule is that uh, the thumb finger indicates the magnetic field the thumb finger indicate the direction of force or flow of current and uh, the pointing finger shows the magnetic field and uh, the middle finger shows the direction of current now let us see about the force between two long parallel current so ab and cd are two straight very long parallel conductor placed in the air at a distance a they carry current such as i1 and i2 respectively so here a magnetic field acts perpendicular to the plane of the paper and the inverse thank you